behind this top secret door here is Pioneer DJ's top secret studio in London. And we're gonna head inside there now and see what we can find. This is the DDJ SX3 from Pioneer DJ. And we've got a first look at this unit here. So it's called the SX3, which means it's a Serato controller. And the three could stand for the fact that it's followed on from number two, but it could also mean three mic inputs because that's one of the big new features on the SX3. The video that Pioneer put out shows some really cool beatboxing and some live hybrid DJing with instruments and stuff using all those microphone inputs. In truth, this is going to be a godsend for mobile DJs who need those mic inputs for bigger gigs. So uh, whether you're mobile or whether you're wanting to do that kind of hybrid DJing, there's going to be something on this unit for you. Let's take a closer look at it. So at first glance, you might be forgiven for thinking not much has changed here, but all the goodness is under the hood. That said, there is a new kind of look, a uh, bit, bit more differentiation between the mixer section and the decks. Talking about the mixer section, you've also got full four channels and DVS if you buy the upgrade as before, but the big changes on the mixer section are gonna be these color effects in the middle. So as well as the filter, you've got jet, echo, and noise, which of course trickle down from other Pioneer gear. Good to see that on the SX3. Now, the microphone sockets are where it really has all changed. Around the back, there are two mic sockets. There's one just around the back here, another one down here, which control mics one and two, which are switched through channels three and four, or basically your spare decks for when you're just DJing in two deck mode. And then that means that you can put them through not only the new hardware sound color effects on here, which operate independently of Serato. You could use that even without a laptop plugged in, but also you can put Serato's effects across those two mic channels as well. So they're pretty, uh, pretty advanced. There's a, a lot of flexibility there, but there's a third mic channel, by the way, they're a XLR and a combi, but there's a third mic channel down here. So this looks on the face of it to be a little bit more basic because you've got a mic input, just a standard balanced uh, quarter inch jack there uh, on, on off and a level. So not much going on down there at first glance, but there is a utility on the laptop, which lets you control lots of stuff there, talk over, compression, uh, and lots of other stuff, including the EQ. So although there's no EQ up on the mixer for this mic input, you can do it from down here. So apart from that, we're looking at business as usual here, but with one big change, there are now two USBs. If you come and look at the switching up here, you can see that we've got USB-B for four decks. And this means that you can have an extra DJ plugged in. Uh, you can have seamless switchovers between two laptops, which again, for the target audience of people performing out there in the field, this is gonna be uh, really good news in a controller of this size to have that flexibility that's normally seen in bigger controllers such as the DDJ SZ. So that is the features rundown. We've had a little play of it, uh, play with it, but really if you're used to the SX2, uh, the, the rest of it is very, very similar. The jog wheels are just as responsive. It's got everything on it that you uh, will know and love from the older controller, but with those additions that we've just discussed. So this is clearly gonna be something that interests DJs who wanna take something out on the road with them. The SX size of controller is that sweet spot between the kind of toy looking smaller controllers and the really big stuff like the, the SZ, which is just kind of too big for your boot. This is the kind of sweet spot size. It's got the full standalone mixer. It's now got the hardware effects on it. As we mentioned, it's all about the microphone channels, but also don't forget it's got dual USB now as well, which makes it much easier if you've got another DJ playing with another laptop to come and switch over. It's a really good advance on the SX2, moving into the territory actually of the bigger SZ controllers, especially with those dual uh, USB inputs. Uh, so the price of this, it's 969 UK pounds, 999 dollars, I'm just checking, uh, and 1,099 euros. It's going to be available imminently.